Mr. Jivesh Tiwari here, reporting from JB Academy. And we have our special guest, Mr. Asaf from Israel. We welcome you, sir. Thank you. Sir, can you introduce yourself to the audience? Uh, yeah, uh, my name is Asaf. I uh, am visiting JB Academy from Israel uh, as part of my travels in Nepal and India. Um, I served in the Israeli army for three years where there is mandatory army service. Uh, you know, and I'm really enjoying my stay so far. It's been really nice to me. So, I'm happy to be here. So, how did you come to India? How did I come to India? JB Academy. That's JB Academy. So, I um, there's this website called Workaway in which uh, you volunteer places and you get a place to stay. And um, you also get, you know, a cultural experience. Um, and I was very interested in doing something like this, you know. Uh, seeing uh, you know life in, in in parts of India that are not super touristy and, and more authentic. So this is why I decided to, to do the academy. So what's your regular job over there? My regular job, well, uh, I was a student um, up until uh, you know last year, and uh, I worked in uh, various jobs and cook as a uh, work in farming, work in sales, so I've done I have a, lot of, a lot of jobs. So how about your experience in Israel Army? Um, my experience? Um, the training. I, I liked it because I did something that was relatively interesting for me. I was a medic, so I did a medical training course. Uh, first, basically advanced first aid. Uh, is what I learned and what I did for three years. So I thought it was interesting. I, I like learning about these things and I like having uh, the knowledge to help people. I like it. So what was your experience about that you held the terrace and the terrace attack? Right. Yeah, I, I, uh, as a medic I was a, uh, I was the first responder to several terrorist attacks. And the first terrorist attack that I responded to, um, the, all the civilians were already uh, evacuated and taken care of. So, uh, so uh, the only person who was left to take care of was the terrorist who, who had been shot and because police were trying to split, trying to stop him. Uh, and it's uh, it's a very complicated um, it's a complicated situation because on one hand it is my duty and every medical professional, a doctor, a paramedic, a medic, or whatever. It is our duty to help people. And it doesn't matter if it's a terrorist or anybody, you know, anybody who needs medical attention, we need to help them. Uh, so that's one side. And the other side is that this is a person who's done some you know, horrible things. Uh, who, if I was there, he would have stabbed me. So uh, it, it's sometimes. So in, in that situation, it's it's hard to be professional. Fully managed, and I'm, and I'm proud that we did the right thing, which was helping him to the best of our abilities because it is the right thing to do and the moral thing to do, in my opinion. So, what was your experience with JV Academy? How do you find it? Uh, I like JV Academy. I think the school is actually a lot nicer than my school in Israel was. So, I'm so very impressed. Uh, you know, the, the buildings themselves and the classes themselves are very uh, pleasant. It's very nice place to walk around. Everybody's even really taking good care of me. Or, <coughs> excuse me. Um, is taking good care of me is taking good care. You know, we're super nice. So yeah, I'm having a good experience. I like being here. Do you have any plan to go to this place today? Yeah. So next week I'm going to Varanasi for Diwali. And uh, after that, we're going to be going to less touristy places northeast of India, um, which I think will be very interesting. So that's a plan. Thank you, sir, for giving you precious time and precious knowledge to us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me.